I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polynomials. Here is an excellent question from previous test paper. If square root 5 is a 0 of the polynomial x cubed minus 3 square root 5x square minus 5x plus 15 square root 5, find all the zeros of the polynomial. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now, when we, once we say that square root 5 is a 0, that means that x minus square root 5 is a factor, right? So this is a factor. What we can do here is that we can divide the given polynomial with x minus 5 to get the other factor. The order of the other factor will be 2, it will be a quadratic equation and we can use quadratic formula or factor it to find the other zeros. Perfect. So that is the strategy which we are going to use. We have here x cube minus 3 square root 5 x square minus 5x plus 15 square root 5. Now, this term square root 5 makes it slightly difficult to work with and that is why this question has come to me. This is x minus square root 5. We need to divide. So, the first term should be x square in the quotient. So, when you multiply, you get x cube minus square root 5 x square. Now, if you take the difference what do we get? We get minus 2 square root 5 x square minus 5x. So the next term in the equation should be minus 2 square root 5 x. So write minus 2 square root 5 x. So that gives us minus 2 square root 5 x here with a square and here square root 5 and square root 5 will become 5 and 5 times 2 is 10 minus minus is positive so we get positive 10x when you take away you get minus 15x and on this side you get plus 15 square root 5 now we need to have minus 15 in the quotient. That will give us minus 15x minus minus is plus 15 square root 5. Perfect. So now when you take away, you get 0. So you have the other factor with you. The other factor is x square minus 2 square root 5 x minus 15. You could factor this using product and sum but that could again be difficult for some students. So we could now use the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Using this formula we can get our result. So we get x equals 2 minus of minus 2 square root 5 gives us 2 square root 5 positive plus minus square of this term. We'll make 5 square I mean square root 5 will be 5 and this will be 4. So 4 times 5 is 20. So I'm straight away writing here 20 minus 4 times a, a is 1, c is minus 15, minus makes it positive, 4 times 15 is 60 divided by 2 times a, so we get 2, right? Now, that could be written as 2 square root 5 plus minus square root of 80, right? So it is 80 over 2. Now, we could write this as 2 square root 5 plus minus 80 is 4 times, I mean, 5 times 16, so 4 could be taken out, right? So it is, if you divide by 5, 
5 times 1 and 30, 5 times 6, 16 square root. So that gives you 4 square root 5, right? You can do it in steps, divided by 2. So that gives us, when you divide these by 2, you get square root 5 plus minus 2 square root 5. So that gives you two solutions, right? 1 square root 5 plus 2 square root 5 gives us 3 square root 5. And square root 5 minus 2 square root 5 gives us minus square root 5. So these are the other two roots. So now we can write down our answer, which is the roots are 1 square root 5 is given to us. The second one is uh, minus square root 5. And then we have 3 square root 5. Good. So that is how you can find the other roots. Now as an extension to this question, you could always write division statement for the given question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.